Hi, my name is Pop. I'm making a tutorial in Ubuntu Basics showing a little bit more about how to use Caliber. This is my second Caliber video tutorial. I'm using Voco screen to record the screen. Caliber is a program which lets you take a word processor file and create either a Mobi or an EPUB from it. And in this highlighted book, I have got already a Mobi created from my ODT file. Mobis are used by Amazon Kindle and EPUBs a lot are used by Barnes & Noble Nook. You can use either one you want to. I've got all my stuff on Amazon Kindle. Now if I were to tap on this Mobi it opens up the ebook reader that comes with Caliber and if I were to tap on the ODT file it would open up LibreOffice Writer. And I've already got them open so let me go over here and I'm going to go to the very bottom and open up the Mobi file with the reader that comes with Caliber and it's a very good reader. And you see when I tap on this over here it lists the table of contents and the main thrust of the tutorial today is to talk about one aspect of the table of contents which is a little bit confusing. I have got all of these tables of contents over here and I'll just tap on one and I'm going to go to chapter 3. And I've got it set up in such a manner that when I hit any chapter the chapter heading is at the top of the page and when I get to the end of the chapter there will be blank lines. So I'll just go to 6 and you see every time I do this it's at the top of the page. And then when I go with my right arrow page down and when I get to the end of the chapter, it's going to show some blank lines. And there I am at the end of the chapter. And that's the end of chapter 9. And when I hit one more right arrow, it goes to chapter 10. You can see that I told this thing to center the chapters, use the same font as the regular text, but to make it bold, to underline it. And then I made it in three lines. And I told it when I got to the end of the number, of the chapter to do a line feed and a carriage return and then again. But it doesn't show over here like that. Now I'm going to close this and I am going to go to the ODT file, the word processor file, and I'll show you what it looks like. This is the symbol right here that tells it to split the line and it's very difficult to make that. You just have to remember this. Are you ready? Control Shift U A and then spacebar and you see that's how it does it. That's the goofiest darn thing. Now let me get rid of that one. I'll go up here in front of it and hit delete. Now please notice that my cursor is in heading 1 and if you go up here you can see I'm in heading 1 and these things show the format so it's underlined, it's bold, it's heading 1. In other words that's the chapter and if I had sub chapters I would make them heading 2. You can make this thing heading 1 very easily by just hitting control 1. Now if I wanted to make it a sub chapter I would go control 2 because that's what heading 2 looks like. I told it to do this. That's, that's heading 2, but I'm going to go back to heading 1. Now, the way I told it to do what it does, there's two ways, and they're separate. And one is an individual chapter, and one is all of the chapters. First of all, let's do all of the chapters. Hit F11, and I'm in heading 1, and now I'm going to right-click and modify. Now this modifies every single chapter. And you see I told it not to indent. And I told it to center it. And I told it to bold 12 points. And I'm using the same kind of font. And then under font effects I told it to go bold underline. See there it is underline. However you can if you want to just goof with one of these things and you would do that by going up into format 
and then either format the character or the paragraph. Now remember, that only changes one single chapter. There's one other thing. You may have noticed that there's a 1 right here. I'm in chapter 1. And uh, let me hit F5 and just go, and you can see there's a 6 in front of chapter 6 and a 7 in front of chapter 8. Let me just go to this one. I, I'll hit uh, Enter. And you wonder, well, what in the heck is that? It doesn't show up in the E book. No, it doesn't. It does not at all. And what that is, is when you go to Tools and you go to Outline Numbering, uh, Level 1, which is Chapter 1, it has a number. Now, if I say None, it removes that. And it's gone. So let's go back up to it again. Outline Numbering. And I'm in Heading 1. And I'm going to number it. But right in front of it, let's just put the word chapter. Chap, well, how about CH, period. And then after it, I'm going to put a space. That might make it clearer. See, I've got chapter 8. And in other words, LibreOffice Writer, the word processor, has a method whereby you can automatically number every single chapter and then put the word chapter in front of it if you want to do so. There's a problem, though. When you do that, it does not transfer over with Caliber to the EPUB or the Mobi. It just doesn't work. So what I did was I put in my Chapter 8 up here as a thing to keep me uh, in line. And then I manually wrote in Chapter 08, 09, 10, and so on all the way through. There is a workaround. You can figure out a way to do this so that it carries over and the way you do that is wow it's complicated and I don't recommend it you go over to files and you save as HTML then you take the HTML and you save it back again to ODT you might want to rename it before you mess yourself up and what happens is is this right here where it says chapter 8 would then be in the word processor file itself but until you do that workaround this chapter 8 business will not show up when you do the uh, conversion from the ODT file to the EPUB I'm going to close this right now and since I modified it, it says you want to save everything I'm saying no I'm gonna close without saving and here I am back and I've got this outlined and I'm going to just completely remove it by hitting delete and it's going to say "Ooh, you want to do that now I am deleting the Mobi you don't have to worry about deleting the ODT file that that's that's not going to be harmed in any way and I'm just going to go make it again from the get-go and here it is this is the ODT file and I'm going to hit open when I hit open it's going to add this to caliber it hasn't modified it in any way. It's just going to add it as an ODT file. Then the next thing that happens after you add this is you are going to go to line 2 here, edit the metadata, and that's the author and the, the, uh, the book and stuff. And I got to put my name in right there. And here we go. And then I say OK. And I'm done. Takes a second. It sure does take a second. That's because I am recording, and uh, I'm recording uh, with Voco Screen, and that's a really good screencast program. The next thing I do is I hit Convert Books, and it's got everything the way I want it, and so all I have to do is hit OK. And it takes a couple of seconds to do the conversion. And when it starts, it makes this little ziggle zaggle circle thing down here. And when it's done, it'll show it up here as Moby. Now, you may have tried Caliber and you said to yourself, Oh my gracious, it, I have to go in every single time and alter this and alter that and alter this and alter that. And I get tired of tweaking it uh, line by line. Well, what you can do, see, is you can go over here and get it to go to preferences and when you go to preferences 
Oh, I've got a running job going. It says I can't go in there. Let's let's let this finish. Anyway, you will go to preferences and then you go in there and set it up exactly the way you want it set up every single darn time and save it. And then there on after you don't have to mess with it anymore. Okay, I'm done. Let me go over to the preferences now. Here we go. Common options. Just go to that one. Easy peasy. So, uh, page setup. Well, I tell it default output, default input. That's easy enough. Structure detection. Well, for the most part, I have chapters and then sub, sometimes sub-chapters. That would be H2. However, you can go with the default, and the default one is this really, really long thing that he's put in there that covers almost everybody's contingency. But me, I just use this one. And then you can put in either a page break, nothing, a rule, whatever you want to do. And then down here, insert page breaks before. I just put in nothing. You can do something else. Table of contents, well, I told it to go this one, in other words, H1, and then this one, H2. And on heuristic processing, I did not enable it. And then on look and feel, well, yes, indeed, I, I told it to do left align. I, I changed that. And that's pretty much all I, all I have uh, done. Let me close this now. And uh, that's pretty much all I got for this video. You could call this a uh, video tutorial about Caliber that shows intermediate stuff on what you can do to create a MOBI and also multiple line chapters. My name is Pop and I've got a whole bunch of videos on YouTube called Ubuntu Basics on Ubuntu and uh, Linux and other topics. And if you enjoyed this, I would like to hear from you and I thank you very, very much.